I had to tell you the story from yesterday because something really amazing happened. Maybe you won't think it, it was amazing, but to me it was really an experience. We live in an area which is close to the forest, but there's still a road and there's still other houses. So we don't get that much wildlife, even though I wish we did because I love all animals. And yesterday, when late in the evening, when I was standing just brushing my teeth, looking out the window, there was a baby fox in our garden. It was so cute, and I was just so amazed. I've I've never seen a fox up close, uh, just like running off in, from the road or something. And this was a baby fox, and he was so cute. And oh, so we went out into the garden, and we were like calling him and trying to get him to us to say hello. And he was like standing there looking at us, and oh, he was so cute. And uh, then he went into the neighbor's garden, and the neighbors have a cat, a very friendly cat, but not friendly to other wildlife, maybe. So they, he went in there and we could just hear them screaming at each other, <clears throat> but they were both fine. So that was okay. <clears throat> What's happening with my voice? And then we went out and we put some, some ham in the garden on a plate and this morning it was gone. So either it was the cat or it was the baby fox. The only thing that is worrying me is why was he all alone? because we didn't see a mother or anything like that. So I'm just so worried that uh, he was all alone. And if that's the case, I hope he comes back so that we can take care of him and get him to whatever place you give animals like that to so they can take care of him. So oh, that would be amazing to have a baby fox. That would be amazing. Anyways, so I just wanted to tell you that story. Sorry if it's bumpy. Um, we always drive this same way and we have about 15 minutes into town because we live a little bit outside but it's always so much fun to drive this way because it's so beautiful so I really don't mind at all. This is what we see every day, not every day because I don't go outside of the house every day but every time we drive into town and it's just so beautiful and I'm just so happy and so grateful that I get to live where I do and in the summertime it's really it's really the best place to be I have to say I love Sweden this time of year you will hear me complaining a lot in the winter time because it's so cold it's so dark and I sometimes wonder if we are mad for living here because why would you live here in the winter but in the summer there's no place that I would rather be so I'm so thankful for that so oh, I'm sorry if it's too bumpy. How do people do this? How then do they hold the camera so still? Woo! Um, so I just wanted to tell you that story because it was amazing to me, and I just love animals so much, and it was especially wild animals that was just amazing. So uh, be right back with cars and other fun stuff. Cars, how to choose. This is a used uh, car dealer. Obviously we can afford a new one, but there's so many pretty ones. And I want like, this is like a mini, not a mini Cooper. I don't know what these are called. And I want something like this because it's so easy to drive. But obviously as long as we're living out in the countryside, we need something that is big and can haul things. And maybe once we're done with like renovation and stuff, then maybe we can do that. Uh, this, uh, I'm being careful not to do the license plate in case we buy this car, but this blue one is the one that we're going to be test driving. Um, so it's a good car because, let's see if I can go around. Oh, they park them so close you can't get through. Um, this one is good because it is, uh, it has both these things where you can haul things. And then it's quite big inside, so we can go on our little trips where I lie in the back. And then it's big like this. Oh, I'm not getting the license plate. And it's blue because I always love having colors, colored cars because they're so much easier to find. So we're going to test drive this and see how it does. So we bought a car. Woo! It's so scary buying cars. It's so scary buying anything expensive. And we test drove two cars and we decided on the one that was a little bit bigger. 
because we want a small car but at the same time we need a bigger car right now so oh it's so scary <laughs> what do you think guys have you bought like big things and how do you get over like the fear of just having to do it because we were thinking like oh we're gonna go home and think some more about it but at the same time we're not gonna get any more information so we just had to make a decision and we made the decision to buy it so well, I think we're both kind of exhausted now so we're going to have a coffee and kind of try to calm down so we're getting the new car in uh, four or five days because there was some things they needed to do to it before we got it they are putting on um, I don't know what that's called uh, a hook for the back you know so you can haul things so they are going to have that put on and uh, some other small things and it's going to be so exciting <sighs> so now I'm in a park in the city and we're going into the city to have coffee and I'm gonna be right back to you so we went somewhere else than espresso house today we went to Jusbara and this place is more like ecological and stuff like that and it's so cozy and it's just on the one of the main streets so I got this yummy sandwich and an iced latte and it's going to be so nice yummy 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 hi guys so now we're back home again we weren't away for that many hours so hopefully i won't get as sick as i did last time for from being away it's always really hard to know what you actually have energy for because when you're away and you're doing fun stuff uh, it doesn't feel like i get tired and then I'm eating my own hair and then afterwards I get really really tired mm, mm, so much hair uh, so now we're back at our little house and in our little garden and I've changed into PJs but I haven't taken off my makeup yet because uh, I was too lazy so now we're having let's see if I can do this we're having strawberries, lots and lots of strawberries. These are not actually from our garden. We bought them because we can't produ produce enough strawberries for me. I just want to eat strawberries all the time. When I was little, my family always went to my grandparents' summer house uh, every, every summer. And then uh, we always went by this plantation is that what you say of strawberries so we used to go there and pick strawberries because it's much cheaper than buying them and I at least the children could eat as much as you could while you were picking so I just ate lots of strawberries and then I came home and then I ate a liter of strawberries every day basically so I can't ever get enough of, of Swedish strawberries mm. Mm. It just tastes like summer to me so I'm gonna enjoy this and I'm gonna try to have a little bit of a rest just making just making big decisions like buying a car is really tiring just because you have to I don't know it's just you, you tense up and then you decide and then you're like <sighs> so I'm gonna just rest and uh, something and then I might shoot a photo of a perfume later so I thought maybe I would show you how I do that. I was just gonna ask if you're interested, but you can answer right now. So I might do that and I hope you are interested. Okay. So a lot of you guys have had questions about how I take photos for, photos for my Instagram. And today I'm doing, I got a new perfume from Imaginary Authors that's called Saint Julep. And it's a really, really nice scent, very light and summery and minty and sweet and nice. So every time I get a new perfume, I basically shoot a collage or what should we call it? Like a picture with the perfume bottle, but also with the most prominent notes. So I usually start with looking at uh, Fragrantica. I'm sorry. Fragrantica is the place that I usually go for information about things like this. So it looks like that. It's fragrantica.com and you can see all the notes that are supposed to be in it and you're, you can also see which notes are most prominent. So in this one it's mint, tangerine, sugar and then comes 
uh, whiskey, which I don't have any because then I would have had had drunk it, drank, drank it. So I don't have any of that. I'm sorry, I was so allergic. I was just outside and I was just sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. Oh, pollen. Pollen. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm in a weird mood. I'm kind of tired. Uh, so these are uh, basically the three most dominant notes. So I'm gonna make a photo with these. And I start with thinking about what kind of style do I want? Is this something that is uh, playful and girly? Is this something that is minimalistic? Because I'm using sugar, I went with a wooden background and I'm gonna show you. Uh, I use this camera. I've also gotten questions about that. It's a Nikon D5300, if that's how you're supposed to say that. I have no idea. Basically, my husband knows more about things like that. So he bought this camera and it works really well. So I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to show you the setup, how I uh, take the photos. So this is what I've chosen to go with. It's not ready because I haven't fiddled around with it. But I just use this table. Some of you ask me if I have like fancy lighting or something, but I just use the window and um, I'm gonna go with sugar, tangerine and mint. Actually, this is, is not mint because mint at the store right now was really expensive. So I went with basil and hopefully you don't see the difference. So I'm just gonna fiddle around with this, but it's going to look something like this. So I think these are so much fun to do. And then I edit in a program which is called something. It's called Snapseed, the program that I edit in. And that's how I make my photos. So uh, let me know if you have any more questions about things like that. It would be really fun to show you. I hope this is gonna turn out nicely. It's time for dinner in the sun. Today we're having smoked salad sandwich with the homemade wasabi dressing. So we're trying to be really healthy and there's no Ben and Jerry's today. And here's my husband in the sun and it's so gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to blind you. Now you can't see the sun. Uh, here's my little grow house I want to show you too. All that is basil. I love basil for anyone who knows me knows this. My husband built me this and I'm very happy for it. So now we're gonna eat and have a relaxing evening. Hi guys, I hope this isn't too shaky for you. Me and my husband were out for a walk. I'm trying to get my exercise every day. For me, exercise is a short walk. It's definitely not like aerobics or anything, but I'm trying to get it. I have this little paper so that I can cross off. Did I do my little exercise or did I not? So trying to be good. And as you can hear, <sighs> I'm not in the best of shape. So anyways, we're out here and it's so beautiful. I hope you can see. It's just a lovely place and the sun is shining. And this is actually, I don't know, what's the time? Is it like seven or something? I'm gonna ask my husband. I can't see. You can Sugar say. Sugar. So it's 20 past seven. So actually in Sweden 20 past 7 in the summer the sun is up there so it's not going to be dark until maybe 11 at night and not even completely dark usually when we go to sleep the sun is almost still up so that's one of the things that I love about summer here and it's just very lovely so we're having our little evening walk it's still very warm and still very sunny and then I'm gonna go home and relax and put up an Instagram post I think uh, something from today and also telling you to watch my last video because then today my last video went up this is always so confusing anyways so that is pretty much all I'm gonna do today so I'm gonna say goodbye and thank you for watching I hope this was a nice video even though Car. even though I didn't do as much today but it was really fun taking you along with me and I hope you have a good day guys and please comment something down below do you want me to make more of these kinds of videos and 
what did you think of this video and anything like that I would love to hear from you okay guys bye